Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for March 20th, 2020. Well, hey, we had a little relief yesterday. It was a small relief after a big swing in the market that we moved to about 1,200 points overall in the market swing, but it ended the day slightly positive, and that is a nice thing to see um, obviously we've got a lot of recovery to do but it was certainly a wonderful thing to see a little bit of price support coming into the market so how about we grab ourselves something to drink let's settle in and let's get ready for the friday edition of the morning market prep video so this morning, everyone, we have quite, a bit, quite an interesting situation with the market showing a bullishness, actual follow through bullishness this morning with the futures pointing to a positive open. Now, we haven't seen that. We haven't seen a positive follow through day in almost two weeks. So this could provide a little bit of levity, but whether we can count on it holding through, uh, through the day, that's another story. Story. So let's take a look at what's going on here. We can see the diamonds looking for a pop-up here this morning. It looks like we could move up near the highs of yesterday and um, if that continues to hold. Now the futures have been up and positive all morning. We've been up as much as 900 points. Right now we're looking at about a 450 point move up in the futures and they have been all over the map here uh, during the night. We were down as much as 300 points but I'm holding on to that little bit of ray of sunshine here that we might actually follow through. Uh, um, to the upside uh, today and get that little tiny bit of, of relief rally. Now, once again, I would not uh, try to assume that that's going to follow through f through the, the entire day um, with the crazy wild volatility that we have had in the market. Anything is possible. So if we do get that follow through by the time we reach the open and the market stays positive, that could be a nice little relief here, at least for a tiny period of time. Anything that holds a low, um, we have to look at as a positive right now. And uh, certainly um, we've got governments around the world, central banks around the world, just piling in on all the different stimulus and things like that, trying to backstop the market. Um, unfortunately, here in the United States, we are right at the cusp of seeing an, an escalation of the infections and pretty dramatic moves um, likely to occur over the next uh, seven to 10 days in those infection rates. So can we hold this or maintain the positiveness here i don't know but hopefully these backstop measures will at least prevent us from continuing to slide lower so let's take a look if we look technically at the charts we we have a long ways to go before we're actually going to turn bullish or positive this on the daily chart this um, black line is an eight exponential moving average and we call that the t line that was actually a phrase coined by um, my good friend rick settler hit run candlesticks and um until we see a break above that eight exponential moving average we really can't be looking at um, too much positive here as a matter of fact any rally toward that level could easily be um, the setup for some additional selling in the market obviously we don't want to see that occur but um, any rally back up in there could certainly see that next wave of pushback or selling maybe it won't take out the lows maybe it'll hold some support but that's what we can look for in the market certainly not a good sign and we'll want to notice right here that today or by monday at least we're probably going to see that 50 day crossing down through the 200 day moving average and on its way to a cross down through the 500 day moving average so a lot of technical damage here that has to be repaired this we will not recover from 
from this really quickly and no one should be um, really expecting to see a V bottom um, in uh, this market. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY Again, a little ray of sunshine here uh, trying to pop up. We may be moving up and opening somewhere around um, uh, yesterday's high. A little bit lower right now. It's pulled back some, but at least a little bit of positiveness um, starting to show here on a follow through day. And we got to kind of hang on to that if we can get it. At least we're holding a low here in the chart. Notice that we are a long ways from um, uh, our 500 day moving average even. And that 50 day moving average is really starting to dive sharply. So we can expect that um, average to sometime next week be moving down through that um, 200 day moving average and setting up some very strong resistance levels up here in this area. Remember any kind of pushback up, any kind of bullishness that moves up into this area, we want to watch that closely for that next potential short setup here in the market. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues may have an opportunity to crack back above its 500 day moving average. The only index really capable of doing that today may be able to recover that this morning. We'll have to wait and see. It looks like we're gapping up about into that area and gapping up into the underneath side of that eight exponential moving average. Um, we still have a significant amount of time before our 50 crosses down through the 200. So any rally in here um, could be the, the rally that leads the market if we can move that back up. So let's hope we at least uh, by the end of the day we hold these support levels. Um, that would be a nice change to just hold some support. Let's take a look at IWM. Poor IWM. Um, one sick puppy here. Um, breaking down sharply just a waterfall of, of selling came in here uh, really really ugly and we're looking for a little bit of a gap up this morning we're going to push back up a little bit higher than yesterday's um, yesterday's high which is a positive sign but keep in mind we have tremendous resistance above in price action that we'll have to deal with as we try to move back up. Now let's notice here technically this is a kind of a brutal situation where we have the 50 day moving average is now crossed down through its 500 day and its 200 day. Our 200 day is below the 500, the 500, I mean the 50 is below the 200. Not a good technical picture right now for IWM. Um, so much technical damage here it will take a significant period of time for that to recover. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX had a nice little rest yesterday and that was a great thing to see. We we actually saw option prices starting to calm just a little bit. Option prices pulling back just a tiny little bit because of that little rest in that volatility. We still closed above right there at a 72 handle above 70 which is still an extreme level and we are still holding in this upside trend here on the VIX. But this morning's gap up this morning may actually push us back down in here maybe cracking down a little bit showing a little bit of weakening of that extreme volatility that would be a nice sign for us and, and possibly give us those clues that we can actually hold on to a little bit of price support um, as I speak Dow futures are trying to lift back up we're now about 550 points um, to that upside move so trying they're trying hard to hold up here this morning let's take a look at T2122 which is a four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see this has really been um, very unhelpful um, overall. Uh, T2122 uh, shows us when we're oversold or overbought. And we've been oversold for a long time here. So that hopefulness that we can get that little bit of a rally coming up in here is um, what everybody's um, you know got their fingers crossed for. Just a little bit of relief would be a nice thing to see. So if this 
this can pop up in here, that'd be awesome. And if we can hold up uh, through the rest of the day, um, that would be uh, truly fantastic. Um, but I wouldn't want to hold my breath on that with the volatility. And as we head into the uncertainty of this weekend, the spiking um, infection numbers, and we know these impacts uh, just continue to grow and more and more folks are losing their jobs or being furloughed. Um, as the country continues this shutdown process. It's a pretty dismal look forward for a period of time. So whether or not we can actually hold that bullishness into the weekend, I can't say, but we can always keep those fingers crossed that we do and have that little tiny bit of levity, a little bit of relief here um, in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar has a few things um, on that that we want to pay attention to, and really just one, I guess. Um, we have existing home sales here at 10 a.m. Um, it is certainly possible that we see a positive number here because of the low interest rates, maybe those existing home sales popping up, but it's also possible we could start to see that pull back pretty dramatically as people are just not going out and shopping. They're trying to preserve capital, do everything they can to just protect themselves. So let's keep a close eye on that. Anything is possible here in that number. And that could move us around a little bit when that comes out at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time. On the earnings front today, we have a lighter day uh, today um, with um, about 65 companies or so reporting earnings. Um, but looking through the list, most of those are um, really not important um, in, in the way of market moving or particularly notable. Um, HIIB was probably the most notable that I came up with here today. Whoops. There we go. Um, uh, I have an incorrect symbol. I apologize, guys. So um, not, uh, not a whole lot to really look at um, on that economic front. Uh, or I mean earnings front today. Um, let's take a look at some stocks that could set up. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor and maybe click on that subscribe button, um, I would really, really appreciate that. And also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these reports. Um, you know, one of the things that I try to do is really remove the hype and really remove all of the predicting um, as to what comes next in the market and just focus in on the price action and what the uh, technicals of the charts are showing. And if you find that to be helpful, please make sure and, and click that um, thumbs up button and also click uh, to uh, leave a brief message that helps us continue to grow. And I want to say thank you to everyone who takes the time to do that. You guys are awesome. I, I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, the kind words that you guys leave behind are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I just figured out um, um, HIBB is the stock that is reporting this morning, and you can see it's gapping up, and that's probably about the only notable that I could really come up with today um, in the stocks that are reporting. So nice little move up this morning here in HIBB. Let's take a look at some of those stocks that could be setting up now. I'm going to be looking at some short-term charts because I got to tell you, there's not a whole lot of long-term signals out there. We could certainly take a a look at, at stocks like Kroger who have that have been very very positive those um, um, are still looking good we had a little bit of a pullback in that yesterday and it looks like it's wanting to gap a little higher this morning but Kroger's holding up you know stocks like CLX uh, things like that showing a bullishness um, overall in the market. Um, ZM, ZM has been very bullish. Um, ZM is showing lots of signs of improvement um, uh, in or holding of this trend as um, schools and universities shut down. It looks like ZM is becoming a, coming the big winner as schools and universities start using remote, remote learning. Um, 
uh, through uh, through Zoom video. So something to pay attention to here, um, holding up quite well. But other than that, we have to look to some of the shorter term type price action in the chart to see some of that levity, levity in the market. And if we take a look, I'm gonna go to a, a, a my, what I call a T-line chart, and let's go to um, just this really quick price action in the NASDAQ. Now, this grade in area right in here, that's all, um, that's all um, aftermarket uh, price activity. Um, and as you can see, we're trying to get this little bit of a lift where we're breaking back above this 15 minute, 50 day moving average. That 15 day, or it's starting to rise up here. We're getting that little bit of a lift and trying to break up above that 15 minute um, 200. So notice that this pattern in here, we're starting to get this little rounding that's starting to occur possibly a hold of that low. So if you're starting to look for some stocks or if you are feeling like you want to pick up some stocks that might be showing that improvement or maybe buying some value plays right now, you're gonna have to have a willingness to hold through quite a little bit of volatility, but we're starting to see some of that happen in here in the market. If we take a look at like Nvidia, Nvidia also doing that kind of that rounding off, trying to hold up in here um, in those short term charts, Microsoft uh, picking up. And if I were going to be wanting, uh, picking up uh, value plays, I would certainly want to be picking up those good solid companies that have strong cash reserves that will hold their dividend steady. Um, and stocks like Microsoft might be a place to go to find some of those. I got to tell you though, it's it's really rather limited on the number of stocks that are showing great positiveness, but at least we're starting to show holds of support. And at least in the 15 minute charts or shorter term, we're starting to show that little bit of willingness to hold uh, some of these prices. And I think, um, at least for me, that is a good sign, um, at least for the short term term that we're trying to hang in there um, and put in a bottom. Whether that can hold throughout this weekend, I don't know, but I want to count this as a positive right now as we're trying to lift up. So with that, everyone, um, we've got a lot of work in this market. We've got a lot of danger here before we really start seeing uh, good, solid um, support or holds of these lows. So I want to echo out there that if you are an inex inexperienced trader, if you are a struggling trader, now's not the time to be trying to play in this market. It'd be a good time to just shut off the computer, go do something fun on this Friday. Um, well, <laughs> probably not going to be going to movies or anything like that. Maybe turning on Netflix or something and, and trying to forget about um, all of this volatility in the market for a bit. Let's hope that as all of these uh, continued stimulus measures come in, they provide that backstop, put a floor in this market, and we can start that process of building a bottom um, in these charts but don't don't feel like you have to be out here um, as a buyer right now we can still expect a lot of volatility remember california just last night um, locked everyone down um, saying everyone has to stay home and stay inside except for um you know necessary uh, trips out so we're we're really getting into the heart of this virus outbreak and we could see things get worse before they get better so be very very careful if you do decide to trade and i would really kind of recommend um holding if you're going to trade make them probably quick trades because anything is possible by monday with that everyone i want to wish you all the best and more importantly i want to wish you safety for yourself and your family take care of that capital take care of your family um, support your communities by doing the best job you can in in helping others that need help and um, staying safe yourself so that we can um, avoid 
you know, just those that growth of this virus. That's the only way we're really going to be able to inhibit it right now is just by staying safe. So everyone, take care of yourselves. I want to wish you all the best, and I wish your family all the safety. Um, it's going to be a trying time here in the United States for a period. Um, let's all pull together, be supportive, and... Uh, you know the market will be there when this is all over. Everyone take care. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you all bright and early Monday morning.